Welcome to Brownville, Nebraska. Under 150 people here, our smallest hit the road jack visit yet, and yet this packs such a punch when it comes to culture, museums galore, history everywhere. Every place you see has a story, and of course it's filled with a welcoming, loving community that pours into itself and wants you to come visit. It's a town of 140, and uh, we have nine nonprofits. There's a village theater, concert hall, winery, the riverboat, hotel, uh, the shows that go on in town. So you learn. You're constantly learning something new here. It's got history for everybody. There's river history, there's pioneer history. Coming here to relax, unwind, forget about your nine to five. It's kind of a little oasis here. Have you heard? Brownville, Nebraska, and its 142 locals welcome you to come visit. Between the river and the winery, uh, you know, what's not to love? <laughs> have the opportunity to slow your life down a little bit and maybe enjoy your time so you can see how peaceful it is here. We begin our tour of one of Nebraska's oldest communities, not in town, but rather on the water. The first place to start is book your overnight stay at the River Inn. You, uh, are literally sleeping on the Missouri River. And it's a bed and breakfast, they have 18 rooms. And by the way, plug, 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 it's the cheapest. So the bed and breakfast fee feeds you a big, big breakfast. So bring your stretchy pants and then you can walk it off with all the shops and museums. That you won't find a grocery store or gas station in Brownville. Instead, enjoy nine different museums, six art galleries or studios, the acclaimed Brownville Village Theater. There are young professionals that come here throughout the summer and uh, they do five different productions every weekend. And uh, they're the oldest repertory theater in the state. And a performance hall that draws in world-class talent. I will say it is acoustically perfect in our hall. What they say in New York is you're not anyone on the cabaret scene until you've performed in Brownville, Nebraska. Now in its 33rd season, the Brownville Concert Hall is a designated historic building. Shows are a must go for cabaret connoisseurs. We had a wonderful performer here last year that was dove deep into Beatles music and the songwriting. Our cabaret only seats 90 people, so it's a very intimate show when you see them. We're just scratching the surface of what you can see in Brownville. After a quick pit stop inside Gospel Coffee, we sell coffee, ice cream, big goods. We make our syrups in-house. I make the chai. We just provide the space for people to come and enjoy a cup of coffee and good fellowship. It's off to one of Brownville's nine museums. This building that we're in was the old ice house where they, back in the day before you could punch a button on your refrigerator and get a cup of ice, they had to harvest it from the river. They brought it up from the river. They stored it here. People would put in an order, and then just like the old milkman, the ice man would go and deliver to uh, and fill those orders. Right next door, the Bird's Nest Trading Post is sure to have something you've never seen before. Vintage souvenir treasures from old trading posts. You just never know. People think the trading post is kind of a pawn shop, so people will come and visit me. So I guess we do a little trading also. From our visit, it's clear what makes Brownville such a connected community a passion for the past. If you don't love history, you will when you're here. Joy of sharing culture and artistry. Well, at the art shows, we always have a reception for the artist. And so anyone in the area, it's all free, it's all open, you can come. The artist will do a presentation or a program. The artist stays here, chats. If you have any questions, you can talk to them. And that actually leads to a lot of friendships. And a love of nature. No better personified than by artists Brownie and Rich Hayek. There's nothing better than to be on location, working in the, you know, the flies are landing on you. That's okay because the skies, the atmosphere, the trees, the horizon lines, it's all about that. With my artwork, I do a lot of foraging uh, for materials in the woods or the surrounding prairies. Our dream was to have an art gallery but also a working studio where people, we can meet people and, and talk about our work and they can see the process. And for so many, that's what Brownville is, a dream come true, and you're welcome to join. Take time with people and talk, talk to them. 
you know, welcome them, and that, that's important. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just about an hour south of the metro, get on down to Brownville. Yes. It, There's a there. lot there. And I was just telling you, Melissa, I mean, this is our smallest visit yeah. yet in terms of population, but I felt like this one, we only scratched the surface. There is so much more wow. to discover there. We could have gone another five minutes. So cool. check it out. They'll love to see you.